Hey, this is Matt from InvestQuant. Today is Wednesday, March 9, 2022. And before I get started today, I wanted to mention we are hosting a webinar after the close today at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. We'll be talking about our auto trading program. Uh, we'll be going over some of the new enhancements that we've made to it in the past few months. And the results that we are seeing uh, this year already are quite impressive. So. Um, that'll be today after the close. There's a link below this video that you can click on to sign up for. It'll take you to this page. Just fill out your name and email, and then you will receive a link to join us at the webinar today. All right, let's hop into today's daily IQ. So yesterday, we had a weak close in the market. We had a pretty volatile session. Uh, we started to lift pretty strongly early into the uh, the afternoon session, but we gave up all of the gains and closed uh, near the lows of the day. Now, in the overnight session, we are taking uh, those losses right back and we are trending to the upside. So what we'll look at is what has happened historically when you get a weak close, meaning you close near the lows, followed by a trend up in the overnight session. We're going to be looking at the S&P specifically uh, for this study. So to set it up, first thing I'm going to do is just go to the price patterns library. And I'm going to say that yesterday closed near the lows of the day. And I'm going to do that by saying that it closed in the bottom 25% of the daily range. So if I go to the active today and I find close in the bottom 25% of the daily range, click on that. We'll add that to the test. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is go to this library right above it, the overnight filters. And this is where I can describe the action that we're seeing in the overnight session. So um, as of the time of this recording, we've got kind of a trend up session that's taken place. So I'm going to describe that here by saying that the open of the overnight session is in the bottom 25% of its range. So I'm going to hit equals here, overnight open and bottom 25% of overnight range. And then the close of the overnight session, which is essentially the open of the regular trading hours. So at 9.30, uh, the close of that overnight session is in the top 25% of the overnight range. So a directional up uh, session here in the overnight session. All right, lastly, let's put it in a similar market environment. Yesterday closed below a 10 and below a 200-day simple moving average. Now I can click view results. All right, here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time when the prior day closes week, closes near its low of day, followed by a trend up session in the overnight session taking place in a similar market environment. Historically, 39 samples of this pattern taking place. The win rate is extremely strong on those 39 samples. It's uh, just under 80%, 79% there. Uh, if we look at the average moves, they are fairly similar in size. The average loss is a little bit larger than the average win. Uh, but they're similar in size. But historically, uh, the moves have been to the upside a whole lot more often than not when you get this type of trend up pattern in the overnight session on the heels of a weak close. Hopefully you found that helpful. Remember to click the link below to sign up for that webinar after the close today. And we will see you next time.